What's good, this is Trey, and in this video, I wanna talk about the best places to meet women during COVID-19, all right? So, when this, this whole coronavirus thing started, um, everybody was saying, oh, you know, damn, they're gonna shut down the clubs and this and that, you can't, there's not gonna be parties and you can't meet women and all this shit, and so what became the, 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 the big thing is dating apps, right? And I actually, during, you know, I'm not a big fan of dating apps, but during the coronavirus, I dabbled in it and I did see, okay, you know, dating apps is one route to go, but I'm more about, you know, in person, uh, meeting women in person, I'm more about that. So to be honest with you, during the quarantine, you know, I was still, you know, picking up women, you know, and and that's just what it is. So I'm going to share with you some of the, the, the places I was picking women up at. Right. So the clubs were closed. The bars were closed, closed for the most part. Um, but I was still meeting women in, in uh, grocery stores, department stores, um, parks, you know what I mean? Um, pretty much anywhere where people would be, you know what I mean? Like, and really all it is, is just being uh, confident enough to, to go up and say hello. That's really all it is. The thing with, with the whole coronavirus thing, I'm not going to lie, like when it just started, it was kind of tough pushing through that, um, all that energy around oh you can't talk to anybody and you gotta do this and social distancing and this and that and this and that wear your mask and um you know it was kind of it was making it a little weird but i mean it is what it is man like people still want to regardless of what they're saying People, people are still willing to talk to you if you're confident and you have a good vibe. I mean, that's just what it was. Like, I wasn't... Um, one thing about me is, like, if I go and I talk to someone and they're, and they're uh, showing that they're not interested or they want me to walk away or, you know, I walk away quick because I'm not... I don't have it, any reason to want to talk to somebody who's not interested. So... It's just, you just have to be, you know, I would say the biggest thing is you just have to be okay with, you know, some people not going to want you to, to, to talk to them because they're afraid of the coronavirus or whatever the case may be. But um, from from my experience, you know, there are still some, some women who are still appreciate a confident man walking up, introducing himself and be and having the ability to have a solid quick little conversation and and ask her out on a date right and that's really all it is so for me it was like i said grocery stores department stores uh, um what do you call it uh parks um you know when the malls started opening up the malls again but realistically you know it's just wherever you will find people. There's got to be some place you can find people. And you don't have to go crazy with it. Like you see, you see a woman you find attractive, you just say hello. You don't have to be like um, running up to every girl in the, in, the, in the store. You know, that's, you know, you don't want to violate the, 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 uh, the environment. But all I'm saying is it really... The, the excuse there was a like I just heard a lot of guys making excuses during that time you know what I mean I think they were just they were just happy to have a valid excuse you know COVID-19 you know you can't talk to anybody but for me um you know it wasn't really that big of a deal you know you obviously got to overcome the the energy around the whole social distancing and don't talk to anybody thing but I would say more so in the beginning, it was a lot more tougher. Right now, it's not as, I don't know where you're located. I'm in Orlando, Florida. It's not as, um, 
it, it's not as uh like over the top as some other places but yeah i mean for the those are the places i was going and you know for me you know it was the you know the, the game was still working and i think like i said if you have a good vibe you know what I mean? You got a good vibe and you and you have a nice, a cool style. You gotta you gotta work on your game. Like let me let me just be real with you. Like it's not like I just out of nowhere just started like trying to pick up women. Like I've been, you know, working on my character and my game for years, you know what I mean? So when the quarantine and this COVID came, I was already, you know what I mean, like mentally prepared for it. You know, in the sense that you know, I had or I already had enough self esteem and confidence to be able to push through that all that negative energy that was surrounding this coronavirus. Like I feel like all that energy is negative. Like when you put negative energy out there, I bet bet those you know, you catch it you'll catch the coronavirus even faster if you put all that in negative energy out there. But for me, I was just all about positivity. And I was just sharing, I was just spreading positive vibes. Any woman that I approach is always positive. You feel me? So if the one, if, you know, women, women will appreciate positive energy. At least that's been my experience. So that was the advice. Um, the places that I was going, that I'm going to right now is, you know, uh, over here, the clubs and bars are open over here in Orlando, Florida. So. You you know if I really wanted to I could hit up the clubs and bars. I I you know I'll go here and there, but um, I enjoy meeting women in the daytime when they are <laughs> when they're not under the influence um, because I don't want uh, a, I don't want to pick up a woman that's not even in her right state of mind. I'd rather pick up a woman that's in her right state of mind. And, and is making the decision that's right for her. And then we move forward on that as opposed to, uh, you know what I mean? Like her being drunk or something like that. And then I'm approaching her and she's, she's uh, communicating to me from her drunken state. And then it's like, you know what I mean? Um, you could still pick her up, but it's like for me, um, I don't know, I, I prefer like real genuine connections you know what I mean? Me personally. Um, so it just depends on, you know, how you are, you know, it depends on your goals and depends on how you are, you know, what, what, uh, venues are best for you. If the clubs and, and bars are open for you, then that's probably where you should be. You know what I mean? If you just want to have a great time and, and just who, who gives a shit about a genuine connection. But if you are looking for genuine connections, I would say um, meeting women in the daytime uh, is, is uh, more effective if that's if that's your goal. And I just and I already named the places that I went. I'll say it again: grocery stores, department stores, and malls and parks. And that's pretty much it. And if you're not gonna do that, I guess you could do the dating apps. You know, I did I did uh, dabble in some dating apps during the quarantine. I found that Tinder and um, and uh, Hinge were the best ones. Um, so that's an option too. All right, thanks for watching this video. Peace.